Hey guys, a couple weeks ago, about a month ago, I had a comment on the on this, and I figured uh, I ran across this carburetor while I was cleaning through some parts here in the garage, and I figured it'd be a good time to make a video on it. And uh, this is a uh, it's off a of Briggs and Stratton, but it's a uh, Nikki brand. This will be the same for Walbro or any of the two-piece carburetors, and several other brands too will be very similar to this, if not the same. And it happens all the time. Your choke shaft will break off as you see on this one and sometimes you just can't use the other holes if you're going to go with a manual choke and if this tab breaks off your best method instead of buying a whole new piece is just drill another hole here or right here and hook your cable up and it'll work fine never mind the thunder in the background but uh we're going to show you how to change the whole shaft if you need to you can do this with the carburetor still on the engine. You just have to remove your air filter piece that goes on here. But it's easier to take it off. If you happen to have it off, it'd be a time to do it. But uh, on this one, I already checked it. You just pull the plate, <laughs> choke plate out because it just slides in the slot. In this. Now we're going to go ahead and look at the spring first. I get asked about the spring. It hooks here, on this side right here, and with tension on it, it'll rest up against this little tab right here. And that's what keeps the choke open on this. And once you get the plate out, this will just slide right out like this. That's all there is to it. Now the only tricky part about doing this is the spring, which is what a lot of people ask me about. And like I said, it just it'll hook on there like this, and just make sure it lines back up down here at the bottom like this. And see, right now you don't have no tension on it. You have to wind the spring up. And this is the tricky part. There's several ways you can do this. You can try to take a little pick or something. And wrap it around and stick it back over here like this. I'm going to try to wind the spring like this and then place it on like it came out, but it may or may not work. There we go. If your spring, if it don't spring back, then your spring needs wound at least once. That's all it did right there, and it's got enough to return it. Then once you get this in, you're ready to install the uh, choke plate. And this will only go in, it'll go in both ways, but there's only one way to properly install it. And you can see this is notched out for your vents over here. So this will have to go back in just like this. And you'll feel it kind of snap in like that, and you can make sure it's going to close. When I say snap in, well, I mean, so you got these little tabs right here, and that's what locks it in like that. So that's how your choke plate works on this. Like I said, it's, it's pretty simple, but uh, I've had a lot of questions in the last couple of years about this, and I figured it'd be a good opportunity to make a quick little video on that, talking about that. And uh, But yeah, most of the time, if your tab breaks off, just drill another hole right there, and you'll last you know, several more years out of it. But, if it breaks off back here or where you can't hook it up, you will have to change it. And your throttle plate's similar, but you got two screws to hold it in. You take them screws out and it'll just slide out like that. And the carburetor does have to be removed to work on this. I have heard of people losing one of these screws. It works loose and gets sucked into the engine. And that's not good because that can cause the you know, cylinders to be scored or it could get caught in between a valve and the valve uh, seat cause all kinds of problems but uh, if you do have your carburetor off you might want to check them screws just make sure they're snug uh, I've, never, I've never had that happen myself but it has happened before to people but uh, that's just a couple little things on that and yeah I just want to make a video talking about that so if you got any questions about uh, your choke plate and the spring or anything just uh, let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.